Hello, this is Les East with NewOrleans.com, and I'm joined by our Saints beat writer, Brian Alley Walsh. We're out at Saints camp on the eve of their first training camp practices. And Brian, GM Mickey Loomis, and Coach Sean Payton just finished talking to the media and a little bit of news for the first day uh, of training camp before they even hit the practice field. Yeah, they, uh, Mickey addressed it actually in our first introduction with him today that there's going to be four players that are going to start the training camp on Friday on the active PUP list. And they are Darren Sharper, wide receiver Robert Meacham, uh, linebacker Clint Ingram, and wide receiver Marcus Colston. And uh, the surprise, you know, what that active PUP means is that they are still going to count against the 80-man roster. They cannot participate in practice at this point, but they can come off this list at any time during training camp. It's essentially, you know, they're not ready to go. They weren't able to pass a, a, the conditioning test or the physical. And so it's just a matter of time that they still need some time to mend. The, and and the, there's two surprises. One, Marcus Colston is on it. He apparently underwent arthroscopic knee surgery what? to take care of a lingering uh, injury. Uh, nothing considered serious, maybe a couple of weeks. And then uh, defensive end Jimmy Wilkerson is is a full ready to go and he underwent major reconstruction surgery at the end of last season so uh, you know he's ahead of schedule so those are the, the two surprises probably out of that list and Mickey Loomis said that he expects all four players to be practicing fully before the first preseason game at New England which I believe is two weeks from today so two weeks from today yeah. a one to two week period for all four of those guys yeah it doesn't sound like anything serious at this point and again the only surprise is Marcus undergoing the arthroscopic surgery. And also a couple of roster moves today, uh, a couple of players were released. Yeah, uh, Jason McKee, Jason McKee the, the fullback, back. and who was the other one? The other one was Earl Heyman. Okay, defensive, line. defensive lineman. No big surprises no. there either. Just, and that's to, just to get down to fighting weight, so to speak. And again, uh, you know, Mickey brought us up to date with the negotiations with their first round pick, Patrick Robinson. You know, they, they, they hoped that uh, they could get this thing done by the end of the weekend. Uh, I, I felt that nothing was imminent as opposed to, you know, I mean, it, meaning that I don't, I don't think that it's going to be today, tonight, but, you know, they're hopeful of sooner rather than later. I remember the quote was that they get something done. Right. And Sean said that everyone is here with the exception of Patrick Robinson, so there were no, no veteran holdouts or anything like no, that. No, and Matt Tennant, the, the rookie center who's under contract, he's been excused till Monday a death in his family. But other than that, everybody's on board. You know, they were, uh, uh, Mickey and and Sean both addressed uh, uh, the signing of Patrick Ramsey as a backup quarterback. They're happy to have him in camp. He came in great shape. And um, so he'll be battling Chase Daniel and Sean Canfield for, uh, you know, the pecking order on the depth chart. And Sean Payton said that will be something lost during training camp. Sometimes they carry two quarterbacks, sometimes they carry three. At this point, there's no telling how many they'll carry this year. I, I think they would prefer to go with two and have another roster spot for another position. I agree. I, I just think, I, we'll see. You know, I mean, I, I could see him going three, but there's a lot of positions where, you know, you could, uh, where they're going to need some more bodies there, particularly from a special team standpoint. And that's something, I think if, if you had a concern of this team going into camp, less it would be that 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 particular facet aspect of their game needs to improve dramatically, you know, dramatically, because they were they were ranked among the league uh, uh, the worst special team units, and they can't afford to do that again. And uh, Sean Payton mentioned that uh, they had as many players participate 100% in the offseason program as they've ever had, which reduced the number of players who actually had to do the conditioning run this morning. So it looks like the offseason program went well. Uh, no major problems in the conditioning run. Full team meeting tonight. First practice tomorrow at 8.50. Second one tomorrow at 4.20. Both will be outdoors and open to the public. Weather, weather permitting. Weather, you know, permitting. weather permitting. And also, uh, we found out about the black and gold practice. Correct. That scrimmage is just going to be a practice. And Yeah, it's, it's key to, to make that known to the public and, and the who that nation is that uh, uh, it is a practice. And it will be August the 7th. I believe it was 250 to 420. 250 to 420, and I would say that uh, you know get ready to stand in line and get your seat because uh, you know they can only handle so many people. But that will be free of charge to the public. And again, it's 250 to 420 on August the 7th. And it'll be here on the outdoor practice. Correct. Weather permitting, of course. Yeah. 
And you know the, the exciting thing about this whole thing is that you know they open up the uh, exhibition season two weeks from tonight mm -hmm. uh, in New England. So uh, it's just around the corner. And we'll have plenty more to talk about. Stay tuned to NewOrleans.com. We'll have uh, more information posted today. And we'll be doing video reports throughout training camp as well. So for Brian Alley Walsh, Saints beat writer, I'm Les East. Keep checking out NewOrleans.com for the latest Saints news. Is that